Comics of the Mr. Beta Bites Quick Look Series 2, Episode 1. Uh, in this series of 10 videos, we'll be looking at uh, kit that's basically I've not looked at before. So it's just literally pairing it on for the first time, assessing it, seeing what we need to do in the longer form videos. Um, so we, this one's going to be a little bit varied, um, more varied compared to Series 1. And so far as we'll be looking at um, a couple of uh, audio pieces of kit as well. And uh, we even do a repair. So, uh, yeah, a quick repair, relatively. <laughs> so, let's crack on with uh, this fine machine. This is a Sony um, HVR M25E. And uh, what's really special about this is the back panel, um, as well as the normal sort of analog outputs. Um, you've also got HDMI um, outputting 1080i, and uh, it's an HDV, DV cam, DV, mini DV. Um, so it takes a larger cassette as well as a smaller sort of camcorder cassettes. And um, yeah, I bought this from TechBid. Uh, I do occasionally buy off TechBid. It was quite expensive, and I did buy it as faulty, um, as not working. Uh, so it's not untested, it's not working, so there's definitely a fault with it, but I don't know what that fault is. So uh, let's take the top off it uh, before we do anything else. Let's have a quick look. Uh, interestingly, this has been in the damp at some point um, underneath as well. There's just little bits of rust showing, uh, which isn't great, but um, yeah, and this. Uh, I would say it's pretty high hours. I mean, if I get this going, I will be actually fairly surprised. But uh, yeah, looking inside, I've never seen one of these machines before either. So it just makes it even more interesting for me anyway. <laughs> uh, so we've got a usual fan that these um, sort of generation of units have, professional units. Really nice power supply. Uh, interesting how that's mounted as well. It's sort of um, mounted in such a way that it gets maximum airflow uh, which is really cool literally um, looks fairly complete unmolested uh, can't really see the head drum oh, just about oh I can see a bit of it um, so just see a tiny bit of it through the gap there uh, it looks pretty shiny well, it's there as well which is good so it doesn't look as if it's been sort of uh, messed about with at all, to be fair. Um, other than it does feel like somebody had taken the top off, um, but that's not uncommon anyway. Um, the screw's fairly loose. But uh, yes, I suppose, let's power it on. I did see in the pictures it had been powered on, so I'm not too worried about doing that. But uh, yeah, let's apply some power and see what happens. Yeah, so it uses the same standard cold kettle um, three pin plug that PCs use. Just power it on. And yeah, we've got standby lights and the screen has lit up. The screen looks actually a bit dodgy. Let's have a look at that. It's the LCD gone bad or something. Oh no, it's just the angle. It has gone a bit weird. It's like a press mark in there. You can see it actually better on the camera than um, than in real life. It actually is quite clear in real life. Uh, so so forces you to set the clock, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just get that far. Okay, so. Fan is whirring. I'll just move the camera so you can see the screen as well and just see what happens. I'm going to try this cassette. I think this tape's okay, um, but it's fairly sacrificial. Okay. Um. 
No point what happened there. Stop button didn't seem to work. I'd laugh if that was all that was wrong with it. Let's press play. Yeah. Okay, so that is working, but you can't press stop. Is that all that's wrong with this? Oh, wow. Well, that's... That's not bad at all. Uh, I wonder if this has remote control. I can't see any evidence of an IR receiver, but if it has... Uh, I mean, obviously this screen, it's very red. So we've obviously got a problem there. Um, and I'm not too sure how this is how this is driven basically so is it actually the the lcd electronics or what um okay so let's just press eject see if it ejects okay yeah no no tape left behind um, I think what I might do, I'll just go and get my remote control. Um, these, where they do have a remote control, um, they all use pretty much the same type of remote. It's a really horrible remote, so <laughs> very basic, cheap and nasty, but is actually quite useful as well, just for some functions, especially if you've got a panel problem, like this one seems to have. So uh, yeah, grab that and we'll give it a test. Okay, well, I've brought the remote control down, but I can now put my glasses on. <laughs> um, I can actually see there is no IR receiver anyway, so... Oh. Okay, there is, obviously somewhere. Or is that just coincidental? Yeah, the, it's the same that thing that I get all the time. It's getting flooded by um, the camera. Where is it? Where's the receiver? Ah. Okay. struggling a bit okay and then stop so I can stop it so let's just try that press pause yeah so we've got a problem with the stop button and with the display being red and the layer in between the glass and um, the actual LCD material itself, I think that it's where it's sort of pressed together. Um, over time, it's sort of become either delaminated or laminated. <laughs> um, I'll have to find out when we take it apart. But uh, yeah, interesting. So this is going to be a fun one to work on i think and uh, really looking forward to getting it up and running if you do have one of these scrapped uh, especially if you've got just the front panel um let me know let me know in the comments or drop me an email um, because i have no parts at all for this and not really any access to parts but i would really like to get this up and running and also if you have cabinet parts as well i mean you can sort of see it's been in moisture um, obviously not too bad but it's it's rotted the or started getting some rot on the um, on the metal parts so I don't know what yeah it's not, not too bad but you can see where it's been the case has been 
on that rusty part. Well, it's rubbed, isn't it? And it's just uh, taken off the protection off the, the um, metal. So with that, um, this will be coming up in a future video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for the rest of the series. Lots more to go through. And uh, hopefully see you in another video. Bye for now.